Mbezi. Welcome back to our Youth Talk Show. In the previous uh, Youth Talk Show, we discussed about how to relocate the UK and also the roles and uh, opportunities for healthcare assistance. Today, we are going to look at uh, how to make a professional CV, how to make a professional CV for a healthcare assistant. A CV which will make uh, recruiters or employers uh, want to hire you. There is no uh, one way um, of making a good CV, but there are basic and simple ways which you can follow just to make a really good CV. This is what we are going to look at today. So, in making a uh, a CV or in compiling a CV to apply a job as a healthcare assistant, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you understand the, the job uh, which you are applying for. You understand the job description, you are well versed with the do job description which you are applying for. So for a CV, it's not a one size fits all. You can't just have one CV which you use to apply for a job in the UK or which you use to apply a job in, uh, in South Africa or in Zimbabwe. It should suit that particular, that particular job which you are applying for. So that the first thing, before you write, uh, you, you compile your CV, make sure that you understand the job description because the CV should be tailor-made to that job description. And in your CV, it should also contain the keywords on the job description. You should just tailor me, make your CV to suit your the, the, the job description. This will uh, this will make your the employers, the recruiters want to invite you for an interview or want to hire you. So the first the, the layout of the CV, you should there are some important uh, things which you should include in your CV. We should to make it uh, appealing to your to your to the employer or to the to the recruiter the first uh, information which you want you would want to put on your cv are your personal details make sure that on your cv the personal details are bold and are clear because the your employer the employer will use these personal details to 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 contact you so on the personal details, what do you need? What, what do I mean by personal details? You need to put your name, your your name, your uh, phone number, and your email address. So on your name, it should appear the name which you put on your CV should be the same as uh, on your certificates. Do not use uh, nicknames or other mid, other middle names which are not on your on your on your certificates make sure that what you wrote you write on your cv should be the same as on your on your certificates then on the phone number make sure that your phone number is your country dialing code for example if you are in zimbabwe remember we are applying an international job you are applying a job in the uk so you will put instead of 0771 you put plus 263771 so make sure that there is the country code on your on your on your phone number because they will use this phone number to contact you then on your email address make sure that your email address needs to be professional what do i mean by a professional email address for instance your name is a uh, tatenda dube your email can be dube tatenda at gmail.com or dube, tatenda dube at yahoo.com instead because some people have some social uh, email addresses for example you can put t1 at gmail.com or t the fine boy at, at, at yahoo.com if you do not have a professional email it does not cost anything just have one create one so that you use on your on your on your application avoid using these social uh, email addresses then so that's on on the personal details again on this while list on this section please make sure that you put available to relocate that is on your on your on the top of your cv put 
available to relocate. Remember, you are applying for a job in another country and they would want to know if you are available for relocation. You can apply, they give you a job and while you are not ready. So you have to indicate that available for relocation. Then, so that's the first section on personal details. Please take note that on personal details, avoid putting your marital status, your date of birth, your religion, your, your political affiliations, and all sorts of things. Just make it simple. Your name, your phone number, and your email address. You can add your, your location, whether you're in Harare or you're in Zimbabwe, you can add your location, right? Then, on the, we move on to the uh, professional uh, profile. This section of a professional profile, it, that's where you put, uh, that's where you put your, you, you summarize who you are professionally, who you are. If you are a healthcare assistant, make sure that you write something which has to do with a healthcare assistant because this is the job which you are applying for. You are not applying to be a builder or to be a carpenter. So make sure that the description of your personal profile or, or, or of your professional profile is is matches your job description. So that's the section of uh, your 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 professional profile. Don't include other. You may be you may you may be you may have other uh, uh, professions or. or Qualifications, please make sure that on your professional profile you include what is relevant to 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 to, to, to this uh, scenario because you are applying as a healthcare assistant. Then we move on to the core skills. So on the core skills, again, you know what you are applying for. You know what the skills they are looking for. So make sure that you put skills which are which will match the job description. They are, you may have many skills, but it does not mean that they are all supposed to be on your core skills. So make sure if you are applying for a healthcare assistant, you can put skills like uh, um, health promotion skills, uh, patient patient management or patient care, something which is uh, which is which is in line with uh, which is in line with with, the, with with what you are applying for. You can also add skills like uh, leadership skills because in any job they would want someone who has leadership skills and communication skills. You can as well add those core skills on this section. Then we move on to work experience. Work experience. So on your work experience, please start with the most recent job, then going backwards. Don't mix up or just put it in any order. Start with the most recent job. And this, your work experience again, it should be tailor-made to what they are looking for. They are looking for someone, a healthcare assistant. So your, your, your work experience includes those, uh, the work experience which, which is relevant. For example, you can say I have worked as a healthcare assistant at Belvedere Medical Center from 2017 to, to up to date. This is relevant. Then you put your key responsibilities. What were you responsible for when you were or, or on that on that on that particular job? So and again, the key responsibility, you are again matching them to what uh what the job description says. Put those skills, those responsibilities which are which are relevant. Do not put any other which 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 are not relevant to what you are applying for. Then we move on to so on the work experience, make sure you put them in that order. The most recent, then going backwards. Put all what is relevant. If you are applying for a healthcare assistant job, do not include your, maybe at one point, maybe you have worked as, a, as an accountant in a bank, don't include that. The employer, the recruiter will not hire you because that's not what they are looking for. They are looking for a healthcare assistant. So put all those work experience which are relevant. And also if you have done any voluntary, let's say you have worked for an um, the old people's home, uh, taking care of the old people as a voluntary uh, 
as a voluntary personnel, please include that 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 information. It's also it's also relevant relevant in this uh, scenario. Then uh, we move on to to your qualifications, education, and your qualifications. Again, you put the most recent uh, qualification on top, and you and going backwards. So let's say you have a bachelor of science uh, in in in. In, 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 in this in a certain in, in this display in the healthcare display you can put that you maybe have a bachelor of science in physiology or or you have a master's or you have a PhD in the health field in the health field uh, put that right do not put qualifications which are not relevant you might have other qualifications like you maybe you you you, you might have done building at some point don't include your building qualifications here. Include the those which are relevant to what you are applying for. So that's on your on your on your, on your qualifications. Put dates and also the institutions. If you obtained the certificate of um, nursing certificate at Belfield Medical Center, make sure that you include that you got that qualifications at Belfield Medical Center in two thousand and. Uh, 21 or 2022 so that's what you 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 need to put on your on your on your qualifications make sure you include the year where you obtain that qualification the institution in full don't put bmc put belvedere medical center instead of putting up uh, uh, abbreviations so that's on your qualifications then uh we move on to additional skills. So this is uh, also important if you have any additional skills. For example, uh, IT skills, you can put them, your computer literacy uh, skills, you can put them, your ability to use Word, Excel, and so forth. Uh, these skills are needed. Do not put skills which are not relevant or which which are not, yeah, do not put additional skills which are not relevant. Uh, to, to, to what you are applying for. So that's on the additional skills. If you don't, do not have additional skills, you can just leave it uh, blank. Then we move on to references, right? So on the references, if the job you are applying for, they have asked for, for references, please prof, ask before you put someone as a reference, pro, approach that person, um, get permission from the person, tell them that you want to apply for such and such a job uh, and you, have, you want to send your, your, your application through and also give them your copy of your CV so that they know what you have applied for so that when they are conducted, they are not uh, shocked, they will be aware of what is happening. So get the permission of the person you are using as a, as a reference. If they have not indicated to if they do not need any reference, sometimes you may just need to put references available on the request. This is because of data protection. Some people may not want their names just to be put on, on, on to be shared uh, with other people. So you can put available on the request. That is if they have not specified that they need uh, references. So in summary, there are some, so in summary, so that's, what makes a, a good CV. So there are some aspects which should not appear on CV, uh, like your hobbies, right? Sometimes people put, I like traveling, I like um, going out a lot. If you are, an employer may not hire you, why? Because they will say, ah, the first time if I hire this person, then the next thing they ask for a holiday. So please avoid putting uh, things like your hobbies on your CV. Try to make it as professional as possible, as brief as possible. Your CV should not be more than two pages. Your CV should not be more than two pages. So make it as brief as possible, as professional as possible. This will attract employers or recruiters to hire you or to call you for an interview. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, goodbye.